Hi Sasha, welcome to the interview. Can you introduce yourself? My name is Stasha Telford. Um, I was born in Prince George, but I kind of grew up all around BC. And I'm going into my third year uh, for anatomy and cell bio honors. Uh, can you talk about your high school background? I went to a bunch of different high schools, but I started off in my hometown. And I was always involved in hockey academies and stuff. And then I spent like three years in my hometown. Then I went to a hockey academy in Banff for a year. And then I went to a hockey academy in Penticton for a year. And I graduated with uh, honors with distinction from high school in the BC diploma. Can you describe how your program is built? Basically, there's the anatomy and cell biology degree, which you always have uh, required science first year courses that you have to take that the whole faculty kind of has to do. And then after that, you have um, a bunch of uh, more required courses to be honest there's a lot of required courses but um it's more in uh, organic chemistry so like one and two and a bunch of biochem courses genetics all this kind of stuff and then once you get to third year it gets a little more open and um for the honors program there is the only distinction between the honors program and the nat like the normal anat program is um, like a 360, 396 project, which is basically your own independent research project that you do. And you can do it like during the summer or during the semester, and it's nine credits, so it's a lot of work. But you do it under a prof, and it's basically like, yeah, like a big research project that goes towards your degree. You have a bunch of extra courses at, at, that you can take like as you go through your degree, that's just like, oh, the 300 level or above, and we have more choice during third year and fourth year. Uh, can you name one thing you like and one thing you dislike about your major? I really like the classes. I think they're really cool and interesting and like the cell bio and everything. I find it really cool and like the genetics. So the classes are definitely interesting and the profs are really, really cool. They have a lot to say and they have a lot of research going on. So that's interesting. So they teach you the stuff that they're actually working on right now. And the one thing about my degree that I would say I dislike is the amount of time that it takes and the amount of memorization is kind of insane. What kind of homework do you have? For homework, I base, it depends on each class, but there's a lot of labs for like specific courses, so like lab reports take a lot of time. So that would be like a major thing. Specific classes, they have like weekly assignments and tests. And um, other than that, I find my degree is a lot of just um, independent study where you just have to basically memorize everything that they give you and know the ins and outs and be able to ask your own questions about the content because they don't have resources. So you, just, you basically just have to take the information and be able to like know everything about it. Can you give one piece of advice for a prospective student in your major? So for my major, I find that there's a lot of really heavy classes that are required. So I would recommend talking to a program advisor um, like regularly just to plan your classes. And um, so like for first year, you could definitely take them all at the same time. I feel like that's manageable for the required courses. But then uh, for second year, so you won, then I would definitely um, split up the required courses a bit and make sure you're doing like some from your minor as well and keeping it balanced because I find that the combination of taking like two labs plus like the other courses that are super heavy material, it just ends up being a lot of time that you don't really have. So definitely making sure your workload is manageable. Because I found that that was my major issue this year. If you have any, what is the biggest regret you have study-wise? The first thing would be, yeah, definitely not um, spacing out my heavy classes, like, uh, for U1. Um, so, you yeah, know, that was really hard because there was just a lot of stuff going on. Plus, the labs take so much time. So, it was just a lot to balance. And I didn't have a lot of time to work on some classes more than others. And then also another one was definitely, um, there's some courses like Biochem and uh, Bio 200 and these types of courses. I find in my degree there's a lot of courses like that that don't have 
like required assignments to do regularly so then you could really easily fall behind and then just start cramming like a week before the midterm so i definitely recommend like summarizing each lecture and um having flashcards for each lecture and like working on them consistently throughout the semester instead of trying to cram for the courses because there's just so much information that it's really hard to actually understand it um when you're like right close to the exam but I find that that's easy to do because there's not a lot of like there's like not really anything to to actually hand in so keeping on top of that. Do you find it hard to balance school and your social life? I think at McGill it's pretty easy to get involved socially even if it's academically like there's a lot of students who are super academic so it's easy um, to socialize uh, in a study group or a club that's related to your studies so I think it's decently easy to balance the social life and the academics. And there's just so many events that McGill has as well to get involved in. And I think it's important also to keep the social life balanced as well. So I think it's more of like a choice. Obviously, um, there's been some times where I haven't seen people in like two weeks because I gotta like walk myself away for finals and stuff. But I feel like everyone experiences that. What do you plan on doing after this degree? Do you want to continue in the same direction or do something else? I definitely I'm continuing in the same direction. So I'm going to finish my degree and then I'm planning on doing uh, medical school, hopefully at UBC, we'll see. But yeah, definitely moving on to med because I want to become a specialized surgeon, probably in pediatrics. So yeah, I'm kind of just sticking with the, with the health science route. Why did you choose this program and why did you choose McGill? Well, originally I actually came into McGill as an art science student with, uh, with a major in psych and I still wanted to go into medical school after but I thought it would be easier. But then I kind of realized I wasn't totally, um, I don't know, built for arts I guess. Like I didn't want to do the, all the essays. So then I ended up switching after my first year into science, into honors anatomy and cell bio. And I definitely like it better because it's more specific to like the information I'm supposed to know for the MCAT and specifically for medical school as well. So it's definitely more interesting to me. And I chose McGill because obviously I really like the academics at the school and I know that there's uh, high achievement and lots of funding for academics as well for like research in addition to just normal studies. And also, I really honestly love the, the campus is super beautiful. I wanted like an on-campus experience, not so much of a, like a city campus experience, like downtown. Um, so yeah, I feel like it gives you the good combination of uh, being like an on-campus community, but then also the city of Montreal is super nice too, and there's so many students. So it really feels like the whole city is kind of like a student campus, kind of almost. And yeah, the vibes in Montreal are just great as well. And it's honestly decently affordable. Do you have any regrets in your choice of major? I don't think I have any regrets with my choice of major. I think I'm really interested in neuroscience though. So I, I could have kind of gone to neuroscience a bit too, but then it would be less specific for the MCAT and medical school. So I don't think I have any regrets with my major. I think it's a, a good major with a broad range of classes and you can pick your niche. So even like I like neuroscience, so I can, I can kind of like pick a route now in like third year and fourth year to do like more neuroscience based classes. So it's pretty, it's pretty open. Or was it hard to adjust to university life in your classes? It was definitely, it was definitely hard. I remember first year I hadn't taken like calculus in two years and then I, and then I was like, oh my god, like how do I do math? And so at first it was definitely um, difficult, specifically in first year, because I feel like the, the pace of the classes just like pick up, for me at least, like so much after high school, like the pace was just crazy. And the content is also like, there's just a lot of content at a really fast pace. So I guess getting used to that um, was really difficult, even now. And yeah, so I definitely found it difficult. And even in my second year, um, the amount of content, like in high school classes, there's way less biology memorization content than in my classes now. So it's definitely tricky. And you kind of have to learn how to assume with the information they already know, instead of just in high school, it was a lot of memorization. Now it's like memorization, but also 
um, use, using information from all the classes that you've taken for that one class. Last question, how is the overall vibe in your classes? Do you like it? <laughs> the vibe, the vibe is, is good, honestly, yeah. Like, most of my classes uh, are really large, like there's like 600 kids. So it's kind of weird, and I mean, you're not really, you don't really get that much one-on-one -on -one time with the professor. So if you don't really like that, then I wouldn't, I wouldn't come here for that, like sciences, because it's just a lot of people. But um, other than that, the vibes are definitely good. Like the students always ask like really interesting questions, and the professors are really great. Like they're really engaging, and uh, yeah, some are definitely better than others, but. Yeah, they, they can be really funny too, and they always, the professor kind of like sets the vibe for the class, but normally it's really good and it's interesting and it's fun. I've definitely had some professors where they're super like close with students and stuff and they just really want the best for the students. So the vibes are definitely, definitely peak. <laughs> <laughs> That's it for the interview. Thank you so much, Stasia. Thank you.